Another video from Fast Tech. In this one, we're going to be disassembling an Xbox One S digital edition. This video is brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is a toolkit we're going to be using to disassemble this Xbox One S today. Links are in the description box. We also carry all parts for Xbox One S, Xbox One X, and all other Xbox consoles. Links are going to be in the description box and also the top comment for all the parts that you're going to be seeing taken out in this video. Let's get started. To get started, we're going to look at the back and there's some clips that we have to remove. There's also this sticker that we have to remove. So there's a few clips on this side that we're going to have to disengage. We can use a flathead screwdriver and pry just around this area here and here and on this side here. All right, now that we got this side off, at this point, we're gonna remove the sticker. This is the warranty sticker in some countries other than the United States. We're, we're gonna remove this sticker. There's some glue that we're gonna have to remove and I'm gonna run my flathead on here like that to get that out of the way. And now we're gonna run our flathead in here As soon as we've lifted it enough where it, the case is removed from the upper side of the console, we're going to go on this side here and we're going to take the clips off on this side. And now we're going to be able to remove the case like that. There's some Torx T10 screws and T8 screws that have to be removed. To only remove the top side of the case or to access the disk drive, we would only need to remove the green screws, which are the longer T10 screws. The rest of them are shorter ones and these ones are T8. All of these drivers are available in our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. We're gonna remove the T10s first. At this point, we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna separate the case like that and then lift it up. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to replace is the network card, which is the easiest thing to remove at this point. We're gonna switch to a T8 bit from our FastTech Pro Auto Kit and we're gonna remove these T8 screws. We're gonna lift the network card up and at this point you can replace the network card if you need to. And some of the reasons you might wanna do that is if your Xbox One S is not picking up signals from your controller or if it's not showing any Wi-Fi connections, you might have to replace this network adapter and we sell these on our website, links in the description box. The next thing we're gonna remove is the RF board. And in some cases, if you replace the network adapter, but your problem persists, it could be the RF board because this does boost the signal from the network adapter. Another reason you might want to replace this is if the power button or the eject button here stops working or the sync button or the bind button stops working, you might have to replace this adapter. And we also sell this on our website. You can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. We're gonna lift this connector up like that and this should come out. On a regular Xbox One S, at this point, you would be able to remove this cover, but because there's these screws here, we're not able to do that just yet. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these Torx T8 screws at the front. Two more at the front here. And now 
this piece is gonna come out like that. And then we're gonna be able to remove this cover. So inside we have a one terabyte hard drive, the same power supply that we would find in Xbox One S and the same fan. But that is exactly what I would expect. I wonder if they make a 500 gig Xbox One S all digital edition. If someone knows, put it up in the comments section. Cause anything less than a terabyte on this thing would be not acceptable. Considering this thing doesn't have a disc reader and can't load directly from the disc. But now that I think about it, the regular Xbox One S doesn't load from the disc either. That's just there to copy files to the hard drive. So I take that back. So there's corresponding screws at the back for each piece of hardware. If you're taking the hard drive out, you only need to remove these screws here and this screw here. But if you want to replace the power supply, you're going to have to remove these two and also the hard drive screws as well because the hard drive has to get out of the way first before you can replace the power supply. I am going to be removing all of these screws because we're disassembling the system for parts. We're going to flip it over and we're going to remove all of the screws. Before I remove this screw, I just want to point out that the regular Xbox One S does not have this screw, but this one does in this position here. Before I remove these screws here for the heatsink and ultimately remove the motherboard, I'm going to flip it over and show you guys how to remove and replace other components. So at this point, what you want to do is you want to hold on with your hands, the components on the other side, because since the screws are removed, they will fall out if you don't, and you could damage cables. So you want to hold on like that. And this piece came out of here, which is fine. The first thing we're going to remove is a hard drive. We're going to be able to lift it out at this point. There's two cables underneath that connect it power cable and SATA cable. And that's the hard drive right there. This is a one terabyte. We sell these on our website as well. If you're getting an error E101, 102, 105, 106, etc., it's most likely due to a defective hard drive. We did a very detailed video on how to replace the hard drive, how to even install software on it on your own. If you don't want to buy the hard drive from us, but if you do want to buy the hard drive from us, links are in the description box. There's Torx T10 screws at the back that we're gonna have to remove if we wanna get the hard drive out of its enclosure. And now the hard drive separated. We're gonna remove the adapter. We've been selling a lot of these lately. If you want one of these, links in the description box. And let me know why you need a replacement. Next thing we're going to remove is the power supply. We're going to lift it up. And at this point, there should be still a connector attached to it. So we're going to lift the hard drive out of the way like that. And we're going to disengage this clip like that. All I did was push this clip like that and then pull out. You don't want to pull it out without pushing this clip first. And that's the power supply right there. If you're Xbox One S is not turning on, which means no power, no beep if you press the power button. That is most likely due to a dead power supply and sometimes, sometimes it could be a dead motherboard, but we sell the power supply and also the motherboard on our website. If you need them, you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount and links are gonna be in the description box and the top comment. So the disk drive connectors are still present even though there's no disk drive in this Xbox One S all digital edition system but the connectors are still there, which makes sense. They, they're not gonna go ahead and make a new motherboard for this. All they have to do is make a few changes to the software and they don't really even have to change anything on the hardware. With a normal Xbox One S, if you don't have a matching logic board for the disk drive connected to these, your system's not gonna read any games, even off the hard drive, and it's not gonna run any applications. But on this one, it will. Since it's programmed not to work with the disk drive, I'm gonna lift this piece out here from the front. We're gonna flip the system over. And now I'm gonna remove the Torx T8 screws that hold the heat sink on. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to flip the system over, holding it in. There's normally a retaining piece here, but on this all digital edition, it's not there. So we're just going to lift the board out and it should come out at this point. This is what the mid frame looks like. Now we're going to remove the fan. There's a connector here that we're going to disconnect by pulling it out. And there's clips that we have to remove. You can use a flathead or a knife to lift these up. Like that. Once you get one side off, the other clips on the other side come off automatically. And that's the fan right there. Normally these don't fail that often, but sometimes they do fail. And if they do, we sell these on our website as well. If these are not working, you're gonna be able to tell very easily because it's not gonna spin. I've also seen cases where for some reason the connector gets messed up and if you wiggle it around, it works, but otherwise it doesn't. Now I'm gonna remove the heat sink from the APU chip. We're gonna flip the board over and there's an X clamp here that we're gonna to have to remove. You can again use a flathead screwdriver. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this flathead in here. As you can see, there's like a, there's a spot here. You could stick it in and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of pry it up and away from the motherboard. Be very careful with this step because there's sensitive components around here that you don't want to screw up. Pry like that. Take your time with it. I make it look easy because I've done it thousands of times, literally. So take your time with this and then off it comes. Now we're gonna push, well, this one came off easy, but normally you'd have to push. And I always questioned the quality of thermal paste Microsoft used in their Xbox systems, because let's be honest, this shit is garbage. We sell Thermal Grizzly on our website and link's gonna be in the description box. That's what you should be putting in. And again, use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. And again, guys, just a reminder, if you buy parts off us, it helps us out a lot. I appreciate you guys subscribing and liking the videos and that does help us too. But ultimately, what keeps the lights on and what keeps me doing these videos are the sales so keep them coming guys thank you we're going to take a closer look at the xbox one s all digital edition motherboard and that's the apu chip right there and if you do get this far please replace the thermal paste as i mentioned earlier we sell these motherboards on our website as well matter of fact the whole reason we're taking apart this system is because a customer ordered a motherboard and that is the only way to get a motherboard for these systems is to disassemble a working system to get a board out of it. But as long as the economics make sense, we'll keep doing this and we'll keep making these videos. But as long as you guys keep subscribing and keep liking, because we need the likes up guys. If I'm gonna be making all this free content, the least you guys can do is drop us a like. I really appreciate it. Check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I record my adventures. Also follow my Instagram channel where I post a lot of content. That's not usually tech related, but shows a different side of me. So go ahead and follow that Instagram page. This is Young Tech God from Fast Tech signing out.